channel folks welcome back <clears throat> today we are at our friends in a direct auto of Tennessee we are inside because this car is too nice to put outside with the top down because there's pollen everywhere so you're gonna hear a little cackling in the background and folks are in here working so you will have to deal with that for us but we have an amazing ride <laughs> for y'all to check out uh, bear with my voice too as well I got a little uh, allergy action going on here but so today <clears throat> we are looking at this 2016 Porsche Boxster Spider, and this thing, <laughs> I'm here to tell you, <clears throat> it's completely covered in PPF, so it's got that full protection all the way around it. Um, beautiful, beautiful car, I mean, uh, I wasn't familiar with this car when it came out, uh, but just to f help you guys familiarize yourself, this car is... Uh, 375 horsepower six speed or maybe it's a seven speed let's see what does it say <clears throat> that's sixes there's six of them there um, six speed car red interior with the uh, black alicantra we're gonna make our way in there uh, we got to show you some of the some of the crazy specs on this thing so first of all it's got it doesn't have the ceramics but it's got these huge brakes massive brakes for the size of the car this car weighs in just under 3,000 pounds folks so 375 horsepower in a small little package pretty amazing uh, just want to show you first it does have the color match key which is awesome um, <clears throat> the boot is up front so that's where we're gonna start so let's check it out uh, amazing car i love just the subtle touches the nice wire mesh through here looks looks and feels really nice oh, can't believe i figured that out on my own all right so very light hood i don't know that it's carbon but i think it's at least aluminum as you look in here it's a fair amount of space i mean that honestly it's a lot bigger than i thought it was going to be i um, just going to give you all a banana for scale. You can see the keys are all the way down in. There's a ton of room. There's a ton of room. Way more than I expected inside this ride. Uh, make our way to the front. Push on the Porsche symbol to click it closed. <clears throat> Definitely has got the LED lights. Kind of a kind of a funny horn <laughs> kind of a funny horn um, we'll unlock this sucker <clears throat> and we'll just briefly show this interior to you guys so alcantara all the way through got this nice uh, colored piece that kind of looks like it's seal gray uh, red on red stitch plenty of storage I love this uh, the Bose speakers look really cool kind of integrated nice little spot to put your phone and that actually it's hard to maneuver so <clears throat> stiff which is good you don't want it to be flapping in the wind you actually have to put some effort to open that thing and once you're in here you will see again with the red leather black stitching really nice leather surround that goes all the way over it's really cool sorry the red surround <clears throat> alicantra wow it feels really nice I guess it could be suede. I'm gonna say it's Al Alicantara. <clears throat> no squared off steering wheel, which I do like, um, but you can see it's got all these little open parts. Um, nothing to mess with on a steering wheel. No buttons, <clears throat> just a horn, as you can see there, which is really nice. Really, really nice. So, as you can see, it's got the bucket seats going to climb in or put one of these keys in this actually has actually have to put the key in and I want to do that because I think yes <clears throat> LED lights come on 
or the daytime running lights come on. Really cool. Really like the look of that. And then uh, just kind of show your gauges and stuff. You can see it fits right through <laughs> the steering wheel, which is really nice. It does go up and down if you need it to. Uh, tack straight in the middle. Uh, you got your speedo on the left, very basic. It does have a nice uh, touch screen and the sport chrono clock that looks got looks like it's got the timing clock on the outside it's also got the mini clock there in the middle it's got the digital clock it's got all the clocks if you make your way down through here ac and everything still got buttons and switches which is really nice uh, there is a little tiny you can see there is a cd inlet there if you need it uh, and then here's all the fun buttons you got exhaust on the right and uh, sport sport plus traction control all the fun buttons all right there uh, this is for taking the top down and up it isn't automatic uh, but what that does is rolls all the windows down uh, unlatches it from here and then the top just folds into the trunk now what the trunk does is it goes back and up <clears throat> i'm not going to fumble with it <laughs> Because I don't want to, uh, you know how things go. You open it and then it won't close. Uh, but look at this thing, folks. I mean, a really good looking exhaust hanging off the back. And this view right here, one of my one of the coolest views. Love that speed, that spider look. Reminds me of kind of the speedster back in the day. It's really, really awesome. Um, I'm going to uh, see if I can convince someone to help me uh, start this car real quick and everybody's in hiding so I guess I will start it on my own so y'all can at least hear the brief rumble uh, that she's got <clears throat> It is a clutch car. It is a clutch car. Uh, really nice. You mind starting this up for me so I can get the exhaust note and then you can back her back into place. Big shout out to Charles, uh, the keys in there. Uh, this is the man in charge up here at Direct Auto and he, I didn't want to pull this car outside because I didn't want to get it all dirty on the inside. But there you go got a nice nice deep throat now clearly we are inside so there is a little bit of echo but really really amazing sounding car amazing I mean it's this is one of the coolest looking rides you're good bud one of the The look of the exhaust tips kind of hanging out the back there. Uh, you kind of have to let these cars idle just for a bit. You don't want to turn them on and then turn them off. Um, but that's it, man. This is another one of the amazing rides available up here at Direct Autos of Tennessee. Their info is on the screen. Y'all be sure to check them out. If you're interested in this car or any of these other awesome cars, there's a ZR1 over there. Uh, gonna have to check that thing out, but great great selection of rides up here y'all their website is on the screen so be sure to hit them up uh for my man charles who's running the show up here i am ben barber we'll see you guys in the next